everyone we heartily welcome you all to winter of code 2.0 which is which we are going to conduct very soon so i'm sure you would have a lot of questions regarding what woc is going to be about and how things are going to work in that and that is exactly what we are going to address in this session so firstly uh, if you know what gsoc is and what it is about then you pretty much know what WOC is going to be about. It is going to be the exact same format as Google Summer of Code. And uh, for those of you who are not familiar, uh, I'll just walk you through once uh, regarding how it's going to be. So uh, in Winter of Code, you essentially contribute to open source repositories that are con currently being maintained by large organizations. So you will be working on real projects, which are being used by millions of developers and people, which are being maintained by huge organizations, and you are going to be contributing to that. So uh, what do you get in return? You'll get swags and uh, you'll also be evaluated continuously throughout the event. So uh, I hope this excites you as much as it excites me. And uh, next, I'm going to tell you how you can register for the event. So let me just share my screen. All right, so this is the website. It's gdsc-woc.tech. This is the official website for Vendor of Code. So uh, you can just click on the register now button and uh, a Google form will open up using which you can register yourself. So some of my details are already there. And uh, so once I'll just go to the next page. So you can just put your LinkedIn profile, your GitHub profile. And if you have your Twitter, then that as well. And uh, after that, you reach your essay question. So these, this is the most important section of the Google form. Till now, everything was pretty standard stuff, some basic information. So this is where uh, it will be decided whether you're going to qualify for winter of code or not. So the first essay question is, what te technology do you find most interesting and why? And what is your experience with this technology? So feel free to answer whatever is the current technology that you are working with or find the most interesting as the question says. And uh, make sure that it's personal and it's not just some generic answer so that we know that you have experience in that. And uh, secondly, uh, what do you think Winter of Code is about? Uh, this is just so that we can filter out all the participants who are not serious about it. So uh, make sure that you answer these questions very well because this is going to be the evaluation criteria for your selection for the actual event. So now I'm going to hand it over to Swamideep who's going to take it over and tell you more about the timeline of the event. So how do we know if we got selected or not? Between 10th November to 13th November, the team of WOC reverts back to the selected candidates and onboards them. On 14th, we will have an interactive session between the selected students and their mentors with an ice-breaking session. From 15th November 2021 to 15th January 2022, we will have the coding period. And there is an interesting thing. On Saturdays and Sundays, we will have code freeze. You may ask, what is code freeze now? So basically on weekends, you cannot contribute to your own projects. So it is essentially your holiday. Okay. But if you are willing to work, then you may contribute to other projects, which we can count as bonus. On the weekends, we will also have some speaker sessions and by any two GDSEs. Now, you might be thinking, what do you have to gain from this? Firstly, working on a group project will give you a good experience on how to get things done. Secondly, you will have a real world project to add to your portfolio. Finally, you will get to interact with mentors and people who are working in the industry. So you will get an opportunity to build some valuable connections also. This event will open a wide range of opportunities to you. So, See you on board when the event starts. Bye.